You ran out of footage again, didn't you? And you don't want to redo it? Why not cut the music? Don't worry, I'll show you how. But before I teach you any techniques, let's take a step back and look at a typical song structure. A typical song will usually have different sections, those being the intro, the verse, the chorus, etc. A rule of thumb to keep in mind is, the best point to end a song happens where the sections meet. Well, why? Before a new section starts, there's usually a buildup leading up to that section, and it would make more sense to cut at the end of that buildup than, let's say, in the middle of that section where the buildup doesn't happen yet. If you want your song to sort of fade off into the distance, then making a reverb tail should do just the trick. So I'm here in my editor of choice, which is Final Cut Pro, but the concepts here can be applied to other editing software as well. So what I'm gonna do is to find where I want the song to end. All right, so right about here should do the trick. And when you find it, what you wanna do is to hit Shift H on your keyboard, and that should hold the audio. You want to hold the audio because that allows time for the reverb to ring out, if that makes any sense. So after that, I'm just gonna make this longer over here and trim off the uh, excess over here. And then after that, I'll go into my effects and search up for the plugin AU Matrix Reverb right there. And I'll drag it onto our clip. Next, go into your clip properties and then under AU Matrix Reverb, select Cathedral. I mean, you could select any preset, but I like Cathedral the best. And over here under the parameters, this dry wet mix slider, you want to drag it all the way down and go, let's say a few frames before the music stops. And you want to keyframe it to go around 50% when the music ends, so 50%. And that should sound like this. Sounds cool, right? If you want a more epic swooping kind of effect, what you wanna do is to go into your clip, right click on it, and then show audio animation. Then take the first keyframe and you know, extend it all the way maybe here, or let's just extend it, okay? That's the point. And go to the last keyframe and jank that slider all the way to 100. And that should result to this. Sounds so cool. Another way I like to end my songs is by using what's called a low pass filter. So going back to Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna look for the spot I want to end the song, which is over here. And then I'm gonna go a few frames after that and trim the song. After that, what I wanna do is to go into my search bar for the effects and search in AU low pass filter. Okay, here it is. What I want to do is to drag it onto your clip, then go to the clip properties, go to parameters, then see where it says cutoff frequency. You're going to jank it all the way up. And then before your song ends, the point before your song ends, go about like maybe 50 frames before that. And then keyframe that to go all the way to 100 when the song ends. So. 100 here after that you could put a fade out and it should sound like this I'm going to adjust the ending so that it ends quicker so I'll probably move it over here there we go so that's how you do it since it's kind of a weird way to end a song, you probably want to use the low pass filter when you have a transition of, let's say, going underwater, or maybe when the camera pans into the ground or something like that. 
I don't know, you pick, you choose. Another way you can end a song, and by the way, this is my favorite technique, is by taking the outro part of the song and replacing it with, let's say, the verse after the chorus. You would want to do this at the end of a section, such as the chorus right before the verse, because if you try to splice the outro, like say in the middle of the chorus or maybe in the middle of the verse, it's not gonna sound as seamless. So going into our editor, what I'll usually do is to find where the first beat of the outro happens. So let me do that right now. And I think this is it. So all you should do is I'll trim just before that and go back to where we want that outro to come in, which is right over here. Um, and then trim that too. Then I'll delete the space in between. And this is what it sounds like. And it doesn't sound very good, but don't worry. What you want to do now is to put the outro part under this first clip. And what you want to do is to try to align it so it sounds seamless. And I think we got it the first shot. So what we want to do now is to make a crossfade. And that sounds pretty good to me. That's how you do it. Simple as that. All right, that's enough for this angle. Let's go back to the main angle. And that, boys and girls, is how you end a song. If you guys did learn from this video, scroll down you know exactly what to do if you have any questions please let me know and i'll try to answer to the best of my ability and thanks for watching this video school just ended and i have a lot more time to make videos in the coming weeks so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one bye